We're getting a look today at what programs at the University of North Dakota are being targeted in the wake of the state's billion dollar budget shortfall caused by a sagging energy economy. Interim UND President Ed Schaefer says the college's share is $21 million. The budget proposal includes both one time and permanent cuts. LA News Team's Giovanna Simich spoke with one of many professors who are directly impacted. It wasn't easy, but the University of North Dakota had to make a tough decision in regards to the budget cuts. People who are going to lose their jobs in this process, there are going to be a few programs that are not going to be available to students anymore. Uh, that's a difficult thing. As of now, the cuts are just recommendations, and the president has until April 26 to make a final decision. But one program is feeling the pain of the cuts. The music department made it clear that music therapy was a priority. That was ignored. Natasha Thomas is one of two music therapy professors in the department, and she is angry and confused about the decision. It's a very demoralizing thing to be told that your profession is not a priority. The music therapy program is a major part of the department. It's a, about a third of the students in the music department are music therapy majors, and so it is going to be a major blow to the department. But. Thomas says they are doing everything they can to help the students. We are looking at any and all possible options for them to be able to get their degrees um, inside or outside of North Dakota because what matters is being able to get more qualified music therapists into our world. And she has this advice for the university. I hope that the administration starts listening to its faculty here or else there's going to be some major problems. In Grand Forks, Yovana Simic, Valley News Live. Schaefer will listen to comments about the proposed cuts during a public forum tomorrow. It goes from 1 to 3 p.m. at UND's Memorial Union. And if you'd like to look at the budget details, just go to valleynewslive.com and click on this story.